Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be making a tutorial on how to install that Mojang Studios Outro Panorama, Panorama whatever, the, I am butchering the crap out of that. The sort of splash screen sort of deal I showed in the last video. And that, this um, zip file right here is downloadable from my website, link in the description. I went ahead and downloaded it. There won't be any advertisements or anything on it, but yeah, it's just free to download. So yeah, let's get straight into this. So what you'll have to do is you'll end up downloading the zip file. Make sure you have a Forge version for Minecraft 1.20.1. It doesn't matter what version of Forge, just any version of Forge. I'm gonna be using the Curse Forge launcher from um, Overwolf. You all can use stuff like maybe even Modern or a install directly to your vanilla launcher. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go into my curse board. And from that point I'm going to go ahead and create a new install. Once it starts up, I'm going to go and click the create. I'm just going to name it tutorial. You all can name it whatever you want. And for Minecraft version, you want to select 1.20.1 and then have it as the latest Forge mod pack or game type. And then at that point, you want to click create. Now, after it gets done creating, you'll see three dots right here and then you want to click open folder. Now from that point, go ahead and minimize curse forge. Drag your folder out of the way if you have your mod, your mod pack dot zip onto your desktop. Go ahead and right click this. I'm not going to use WinRAR this time, but you're, this is how you're going to do it on Windows. This should work for both Windows 10 and Windows 11. You want to click extract all and then click extract. You'll see this new folder and all the content that's in the, that zip file should be in there. All the mods and everything that are required for this are in the mod pack. Now once this gets done extracting, I will go ahead and continue on with the tutorial. Alright, now that it's extracted, you go into here, and then into here, you'll see these .jar files, all these mod files. Go ahead and put those into your mods folder, into that curse forge folder I told you to open. Now once you do that, go back to the root folder of the install, you want to double click here, double click here, copy all this. and then paste it into here. Alright, now after you do that, these two files right here are no longer required. So you can just delete them if you want. Now once I do that, I'm going to go back into Curse Forge and hit play. You're going to have to hit play one more time in the actual Minecraft launcher, if you don't have to sign in. But if it prompts you to sign in, sign in with your Microsoft account so it can confirm that you actually own the game. If you actually own the game. But now once you get into your Minecraft launcher, you want to go ahead and click play. Click I understand this real all that good stuff, and then click play. If the, this is if you're using CurseForge or anything requiring the Minecraft loader or the Minecraft um, launcher. Tools like Modern, it actually has its own sort of launcher set up, but you still need to sign into Microsoft account to make sure that you ain't pirating the game. Press enter All right, to so enable once the you narrator. get into here, you'll see that it's still not the sort of splash screen or whatever. So now what you want to do, what I have a habit of doing is first let's go full screen, I'll flicker for you all for a second, but it'll be fine. 
Alright, so here's what I usually do. Go to video settings, go to GUI scale, hold shift, and press this three times to set it to GUI scale 2. Alright, now it'll look somewhat like this when you get into here. Alright, now click on customization, and then turn on current screen customization. You'll see the whole effect that that just shrunk and updated. Now what you want to do, hover over layout, and then hover over new, and then click for current screen. Now from that point, what I like to do is I kind of delete all this stuff down here, and then I right click this because you can't delete it. I like to set the anchor point to bottom center, of, or center of bottom edge. That way it sets it down there in the middle. And then while I have a habit with these two, I kind of right click it and kind of do the same thing. But I can actually adjust how it anchors, so what I can do is I can drag these out somewhat like that. And maybe get them just somewhat aligned with each other. Just so I can actually control click them and kind of center with that little blue line down there, boost them up maybe a bit more. There. Now that looks pretty good right there. We're going to now delete this title and everything here. I kind of delete that and then I kind of delete this over here because who uses that. And then from that point, I go and click set background animation. It says this, but it still works. So go and click configure background, choose animation, then click. There will be duplicates. They're both the exactly the same. It doesn't matter which one you click. But now once you do that, you'll see this, all this good stuff and it'll do all that. But now here's what it's going to look like when you load it. So now from this point, go ahead and... Jesus, what is that freaking volume? Hold on a second. Anyways, as I was saying after that, go ahead and right click one more time. And then click new element. This is if you all really want to. Go ahead and do a... What was is it? Uh, splash text. There we go. Now, for some reason, by default, it's the opposite way of what it's meant to be. So, to fix that, go and go into set rotation. Set this to negative 20, and then click done. It'll be the other way. Now, from that point, go ahead and click on set scale. You want to set it to 1.5 to actually match this. And now, to get it to actually do the the actual Minecraft preset splash text. Go ahead and go down to here to where it says source mode. You want to select it two times to until it says vanilla. Now from that point, it will use the default preset list. Alright, one more thing we gotta do here. Go ahead and hold control and click everything besides the copyright um, stuff at the bottom. And then once you've got everything selected like this, you want to go ahead and right click, and then you want to collect, or not collect, but click on delay appearance, go and click enable delay to first time, go and enable fade in, and then set delay in seconds to 10. I found that to be a pretty good timing, and it works pretty well. Now from that point, this menu should be ready, so from that point, go ahead and click save in the top corner, go and click save and it should save the layout, and then you can click close editor. Now you'll have to wait 10 seconds for the menu to actually show up here, or I think you can do like, there we go. You can use control alt C to kind of refresh it, I think, or do something like that. Now, one other thing. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually come into here at customization, and we're gonna do force full screen on launch. Alright, now click on the loading screen, click custom, now go up here into customize, click layouts, new, for current screen. Go ahead and delete the Mojang Studios, and then you want to set, you want to set the background, click on color hex, configure background, you're going to remove all the stuff in here besides the hashtag, and then you're going to put a few zeros, that many zeros to be specific, and that is pitch black. Now after that, 
and click done on all this and then from here we're going to do a new element and then we're going to do a text we're going to right click here we're going to set text content we're going to set it to loader with a few dots and then we're going to click done you'll see it's very small so go ahead and click on the uh, where is it? 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 Text scale. Go ahead and set that to, I think it was 5. So you're going to set that to 5. It's going to look something like that. So at this point, you're going to go ahead and attempt to resize it. This time it has a habit of bugging until you don't see the sliders on the side anymore, just like that. Now go ahead and put this in the center. I'm doing it based on the D. And it should look something like that. And now from that point you can go ahead and save the layout you can go and click save in the bottom corner and then you should be able to close the editor it'll look something like this you can press escape now hold Control, alt and press c to hide that top menu and let's see what it looks like i went ahead and clicked play and now let's see what it looks like see if we need to tweak anything or if i forgot anything because last time, yeah, there's a lot of fine tuning. But now, let's wait a second, and it'll go pitch black for y'all for a second, but it will load in eventually. Come on. There we go. And there we go. That worked better than I thought it would, and I actually done that in one shot this time. So yay, there's the tutorial for this, and I will leave a download for that pack in the description. So, well, like, subscribe, hope you all liked the video.